Hey guys, it's me Emma and welcome back to my channel. Then if you're new here, hey, it's Emma and this is my YouTube channel where I post about beauty, fitness, uh, lifestyle stuff and travel so if you're interested in that you should definitely subscribe and today's video idea is actually chosen by my Instagram followers so if you're not following my Instagram you should it's at I'm Emma Hoffman and if you follow me then you can get a chance to help choose what my future YouTube videos are going to be about obviously you've seen the title this video is going to be my top 10 favorite makeup products of 2018 so these are the must-have makeup products you need to get the perfect look like you just need them Okay, so first I'm going to start off kind of in order, so I'll start with more like primers and then make my way to like setting sprays at the end. So the first thing on my list is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. And this stuff is actually amazing, like I swear it will make all of the difference. Like if you're someone who has oily eyelids or you crease a lot with your eyeshadow like me, then this is the best product for you, it makes your eyeshadow last longer, more pigmented, no creasing, like 10 out of 10 would recommend. It might be a bit pricey for the amount you actually get, but you know what, honestly, it's worth it if you're an eyeshadow girl. So the second product on my list is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD uh, Invisible Cover Foundation. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have already probably heard about this, but this is the best full coverage foundation you could possibly get. It has a really nice, uh, more of a matte like skin like finish it's not extremely dewy it's definitely more on the matte side I would say but this is the most full coverage like if you were going to go out and take pictures this is the foundation you would definitely want to use and if you're wondering I am in the shade Y215 so that's my shade I'm pretty pale <laughs> if you hope you can't already tell but uh, this is honestly my favorite go-to foundation. The third product is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this stuff is amazing. I know some people would probably fight me on this one and say it's the Tarte Shape Tape, but I personally haven't tried it yet. I know I'm so behind on the bandwagon, but for me personally, NARS is like the best concealer I've ever tried. It's super creamy, really easy to blend out, um, super full coverage, like you just can't go wrong. I'm in the shade light to vanilla, if you're wondering, but I would definitely recommend this. Very full coverage. Um, if you're having trouble, like I used to have trouble blending on my concealer because it was too like thick or dry and uh, this solves all your problems. So of course I had to include this next product. Everyone probably knows it's going to be in this video, but like come on, it is like it needed to be here. So this product is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. <laughs> this product is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is amazing, and I just there's not much to be said about it. It sets your makeup in place. Uh, if you're an oily skin girl like me, then this is the perfect fix. Like I used to have super, well, I still do have super oily skin, and this makes all the difference. It keeps the makeup. On, like it doesn't look powdery or cakey like I'm sure you've heard tons of reviews about this it's just amazing like it's an amazing product you just need it the next product is a little something you would add to your makeup look just to add something to it and this is the Urban Decay heavy metal glitter eyeliner and my favorite is the the color midnight cowboy and this is like a gold shimmer I'll take it out of the package yeah, so like this is what it looks like and uh, it just adds to every look I think. Another really good thing is this product has a very fine tip if you can see. So you can get really detailed with where you put it and as you've seen if you've watched my previous makeup tutorial I like to line like a cut crease kind of with it and I, I find like it just really like makes your eyes pop and adds a bit more to it, makes it a little more exciting. Another thing you can do with this is just do regular like winged eyeliner and line your eyeliner with it on the top part and it's beautiful, it makes such a big difference. Okay, so the next thing on my list is the Sigma brushes. So another thing that's probably a little bit controversial because I'm sure everyone else would probably say Morphe brushes, but then again, I personally haven't really tried them. I think I've only tried a couple, but 
Personally, my favorite are the Sigma brushes. I got these as a set last Christmas, and it came with the Sigma Blending E25 brush, the Sigma Eye, Eye Shading E55, and then the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. So, for example, like this brush right here would be really good for building up like a light to medium coverage foundation. So if you really wanted to build it up and get as much coverage as you can out of it, you would use like this to really like buff it into your skin and it's not gonna take away the product or like smear it around. This is really good for that. So this uh, E55 eye shading brush, this is what I use to pack on the glitter. If I'm adding glitter in the inner corner of my eye, this is the brush I like to use. It's just a flat shading brush. And then the E25 blending brush, this is like a brush, it's a bit more dense. This is something you'd want to just maybe darken up your crease if you're just adding in some transition shades and uh, this would just kind of deepen up the look. And the next product on my list is lipsticks. And okay, if you personally know me, you know lipstick is the one makeup product I cannot live like without. Like if I were stranded on a desert island, it would be lipstick if I could take one product, like 10 out of 10. So I find it really hard to choose a favorite, like I just have so many and I've tried such a wide variety of lipsticks, but I have to say one of my OG lipsticks that I always seem to go back to is the Kat Von D Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And I personally use the shade Lolita 2 and it's such a beautiful shade. I think it looks good on every skin tone. Like that's, I don't know what it looks like doesn't come off like it really sticks to your lips it's not drying though like it's a good mix between um, I, I wouldn't really call it hydrating but it's definitely not like gonna dry out your lips like you don't really notice that it's on yeah I mean I wouldn't I don't know if I'd say it was my favorite but this has definitely been like an OG lipstick for me like I've been using this not this exact one I think I've replaced this like I replaced this shade like honestly like once or twice a year and I think I've been using this product for like maybe four or five years at this point. So like, I can definitely say like, you know what, you can eat Chinese food with this on and it is not going anywhere. My next product is uh, not quite a setting spray actually. It's more like a, just a facial mist, but I like to use it as a setting spray because I don't know, I find setting sprays don't really do that much to be honest. So this is a rose water mist with witch hazel and I don't really know how to pronounce the brand, but this is like what it is. And this is a really good refresher I like to put on either like before my makeup or after like it doesn't really matter when and I really like this because it's really refreshing it smells good and also witch hazel is really good for your skin it's actually like a natural toner so I mean I think like hey this is how I'm gonna get clear skin I'm just gonna you know put a little bit of this on and then I'm all good to go like skin's all fresh this facial mist also has a really nice mist. Like you know how some setting sprays are like way too wet and they just soak your face. Well, this one's not like that. Like this one has a pretty even, a pretty even mist. Like it's really nice. I'm just kidding. I'm just like soaked my face. Okay, so now going into eyeshadow palette. So I'm someone who I love eyeshadow, but I don't really experiment that much with it. I usually like to stay toward the more like warmer shades, like. Uh, like the burgundy kind of looks like everybody else does but I have so many eyeshadow palettes it was really hard to choose which one why is my camera flashing it was really hard to choose which one was my favorite so I came down with two because if you asked me like I don't know a month ago I definitely would have said the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette this is 100% like best palette I've ever used, amazing, like such beautiful shades, like, like it has a lot of transitions, a lot of transition shades, and it has some shimmers, some glitters, like you can just do so many looks with this, like it's very universal, and especially if you're someone that likes like warm tones, they've, like they've got tons, you can see, and uh, I mean it doesn't look that used, but like trust me, I've used this palette pretty good. But I just recently purchased, like also I'm so behind on this bandwagon, but I recently purchased the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. And uh, it's amazing. It's such a better, like a really wide color selection. Like you have a little bit of everything, so I feel like this might encourage me to get into more colorful looks. Like I, I do have more palettes with like more brighter shades and like 
crazier stuff. I just like never find myself reaching to those colors to try to be creative. I don't know, I'll work on it. Uh, the shadows are amazing, super easy to blend. It comes with a lot of transition shades, like these shades up here, beautiful for transition shades. And then it comes with a lot of nice set of shimmers, which are really good to pack in your like, inner corner to just add something to the look. So like, I usually like to use like this one right here or like, these two right here. It's just a really good palette. The last item I'm going to show you today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dip. And I love this highlighter. I really like this because it's super universal and it has like a really a light shade here, but it also has like darker ones. So if you wanted to add like a little shimmer to your bronzer, like, oh my gosh, this shade is just the perfect shade to use. Or obviously if you have a more deeper complexion, this would be just a really nice highlighter in general. But I find I use this palette all the time. I always like mix the highlighters, make my own little concoction of them and put it on. Like it's just such a beautiful shimmer. It's not, it's, it's more of like a wet highlight. It's not like chunky or glittery, like it, just a beautiful highlight. I'm sure you've already heard everyone rave about these. You could even pack some of these on as an eyeshadow glitter. It's just a great palette to have. And that's really all for this video. I showed you my top 10 favorite makeup products. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you should give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, then maybe I'll do a top 10 worst makeup products, the makeup products not to waste your money on. Don't bother with getting them. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I post every Sunday. And uh, yeah, and then you can keep up with my life, my lifestyle videos, my fitness, traveling, makeup. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And if you don't subscribe, then um, you're gonna have bad luck for the rest of the day, so you better do it. <laughs>